cost of doing nothing was I might not make as much margin. I might not be as profitable, but we'll get it done. And I think we've moved into a kind of a new phase where it's not just about the hard costs, but it's about the opportunity costs. Keep in mind, one of the structural challenges of services is that the barriers to entry relative to other industries is virtually zero. It's not entirely zero, but it's pretty close to zero. And so to Sarah's point, the competition is always been a factor, but probably more so now than ever before. And so when I say opportunity costs, I think that comes in a handful of different forms. The opportunity costs of not being able to see far enough around the corner to be able to make business decisions now that can put you in a place to take advantage of a certain sort of demand trends. You know, you might be caught not being able to fulfill the work that you otherwise would have had you had the tooling in place to understand what kind of staffing you needed for, you know, not just three months out, but closer to nine to 12 months out. That's one form of opportunity cost. The other form of opportunity cost is just Again, going back to the competitive factor, who's to say that your competition isn't exploiting technology to run their business and therefore has a competitive advantage over you? And so there's an opportunity cost in new business and potentially not being able to retain your employees as well because other people are running essentially a tighter ship, if you will. And so I think those opportunity costs are, they loom pretty large over services organizations. And I think when you look at just purely common sense looking at somebody who's using technology to to truly run their business in a way that um, helps them you know achieve those degrees of efficiencies in their business helps them deliver remarkable experiences to both clients and employees those are the services organizations that are going to win and i think it's pretty difficult again we've talked about this a lot already because of all the structural challenges of running a services business in the first place it's pretty difficult to do that without a you know, well-oiled machine, which in a lot of ways is dependent on technology to do that.